Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at how we can set up a microcontroller to do a simple task. The microcontroller that we're going to use in Tinkercad is called Arduino Uno. It is a very common microcontroller that can be used for many different things. So we're going to click and drag it into our working space here. Let's take a look at it. We're not going to look at everything on this board right now, but basically what we have on this board is this device here is the processor which contains some memory to do various tasks. Along the outside here we've got a number of different ports that we can use and we've got a number of different ports on this side here. There is also a built-in LED that we can use on the board if we wish, and that is right here. So, I'm going to create a really simple program here to create a flashing circuit. And we are going to build our flashing circuit on a small breadboard. So, let's do that first. So, I'm just going to move my Arduino down, and I'm going to bring in a small breadboard. And I'm just going to move it into position like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a flashing circuit using an LED. And as you know from previous videos, in order to do that, we should always have a resistor in series with an LED. So let's bring in a resistor. We're going to make it 220 ohms. So select that value for your resistor. And I'm going to change the orientation. So I'm going to go over here and rotate that. So I have it on my board like so. And then I'm going to bring in an LED. And I need to put it in series with that resistor and all as you already know from previous videos it must be positioned like that if it's going to be in series with this resistor the other thing we have to know is that if this is going to be the positive input the positive side of the battery if you will then current will flow through this resistor this must be the anode of the diode and this side must be the cathode what I'm going to do with the Arduino is I'm going to power this circuit with a port. And I could choose a number of different ports, but I'm going to choose port 13. So I'm going to click and put in a wire to this side of the resistor. And let's make that red because that is really the positive terminal of the battery, if you will. And then this side here. The cathode of the diode is going to be connected to ground. So let's do that. And we'll make that black. Now, right now the flashing circuit will not work because I haven't told the microcontroller what to do. And in Tinkercad, the way we can do that is we can go here and click on code and it defaults to a certain code here we're not going to use this code we're just going to put that in the trash for now and we're going to use this block programming here to create a circuit that will flash so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this one here set pin to a certain state we're going to bring that in we're going to say set pin 13 to high. <coughs> and then what we're going to do is we want to hold that pin to a high state, in the words turn it on, for a certain period of time. So I'm going to go to control and I'm going to bring in this block and we're going to wait 
for one second. In other words, we're going to keep that LED on for one second. We're going to go back to output because what I need to do next is turn off port 13. So I need to go to port 13 and I'm going to turn it low for a certain period of time. I need to tell it how long I want it to stay low for, so I'm going to bring in this like so. And there, we've got a simple program. All this program will do is it will take pin 13, which we've connected our circuit to, and it will turn it on high. In other words, it will give it 5 volts. Then it's going to hold that for one second, and then it's going to take that pin and turn it low for a time of one second. Now the way microcontrollers work is the way once they run it will continue this code forever. It keeps running it until we remove power from the microcontroller. So to see if it works we're gonna go over here and click on start simulation and there you can see our red LED flashing it's maybe a little bit hard to see so let me just go over here I'm gonna click on this LED and let's make it a different color let's change it to green and maybe that can be seen better we're gonna start the simulation and sure enough there is our flashing circuit it turns on pin 13 and holds it high for one second then it turns off pin 13 and holds that for one second. And as we said, it will continue to do that until we remove power from the microcontroller. In fact, if we did remove power and plugged it back in, the program actually still exists in the microcontroller, the same as your microwave. If you unplug your microwave and you plug it back in, it still remembers its basic functions. You can think of a microcontroller like that. The other thing to note here that you can somewhat see here is this LED on the board is flashing the same as our LED. This is the onboard LED and it's actually connected to port 13 and that's why I chose it. So that you can always use this LED if you're ever trying to do something you want to check to see if that port is turning on remember that this LED is connected to port 13 on the Arduino board. That's it for this simulation you can open up Tinkercad and try to build this circuit you can play around with some of the timing of this how long you want this to stay on you can make it flash quicker you can make it flash for a longer period of time that's it for this video. We'll talk to you soon.